okay students so today i will teach you how to use color picker tool now first of all let me show you what is color picker this is this is this one is color picker tool okay this one is color picker tool so now first of all what i will do i will draw two different shapes let's say first i have draw a circle and next i have drawn a rounded rectangle okay these are the two shapes that i have drawn now first i will use fill with color tool i will select this fill with color tool it is now selected select any color and fill it inside the circle now i will use i want to fill the same color in the in this as well okay i want this yellow color to be filled in the rectangle as well so what i will do i will use color picker tool okay this is the arrow of color picker tool now we'll select this color by pressing the left mouse button you can you can see the moment i have pressed it has turned the icon from color picker tool it has turned to fill with color tool and now i will press it again over here so this is how you will use color picker tool now next topic in your book is modifying a picture modifying a picture means to make changes in the picture now changes are of various types like copying deleting moving okay and all these options are available in the home tab you can see cut copy paste is there resize crop rotate select so these are the various tools through which you can make changes in the object now next topic in your chapter is selecting a picture how to select the picture how to select the picture that i have drawn now for that you can see in the image group there is the option select and there is a small drop down arrow so what you need to do is first of all click on this arrow now you can see there are two types of selection first is rectangular selection and next is free form selection now what is rectangular selection rectangular selection means the object will be selected in a rectangular way okay the object will be selected in rectangular shape and free form means that you can select the shape as per your choice as per your need as per your requirement now let's do it one by one first of all i will tell you how to select the object with the help of rectangular section selection so first of all click on this rectangular selection you can see the mouse pointer has changed into plus sign now press the left mouse button and drag your mouse pointer this is rectangular selection you can see the object is selected in a rectangular shape the object is selected in a rectangular shape that is why it is known as rectangular selection next is free form now select the free form you can now what you will do move the mouse pointer as your need and join it okay this is free form selection means you can move the mouse pointer as per your requirement okay this is free form selection i hope free form selection tool and rectangular selection tool is clear to you all so thank you children and i would request you all to kindly practice all the different types of tools that i'm teaching you all right thank you